so hello guys today we are discussing the one of the important topic called as antibody directed enzyme product therapy so the antibody directed enzyme product therapy is basically used in the treatment of cancer okay so as uh, we know that the goal in the cancer therapy is to kill the tumor cells rather than harming the normal tissues so this adpt is a strategy which can be used to improve the selectivity of the anti cancer agent so basically the mechanism of adpt it can follow the two step uh, reaction okay so in the first step uh, the antibody enzyme complex is administered which is accumulate at the tumor site okay so here you can see that this is the tumor cell okay so on the surface of the tumor cell the antigen is present and whenever we administer the antibody enzyme complex so this is the antibody enzyme complex so the antibody get attached to the antigen which is present on the tumor cell surface and then in the next step uh, what we done is that the non toxic product is injected okay so by the action of this enzyme this non toxic product should be converted into the cytotoxic agent and this cytotoxic drug further kill the tumor cells so this is the basic uh, two steps which are involved in the adpt then the advantage of adpt so the first advantage of adpt is the amplification effect okay so what is mean by amplification effect so the one molecule of enzyme should catalyzes the conversion of many molecules of product into the cytotoxic drugs okay and this potentially enables the higher concentration at the tumor site so as uh, we see in the earlier side the enzyme is responsible for the conversion of product into the cytotoxic drug okay so the one molecule of enzyme should catalyzes the conversion of many molecules of product so that's called as a amplification effect then the second should be the bystander effect so in case of bystander effect the surrounding tumor cells that do not express the tumor antigens are also killed due to the bystander effect okay so as we see in the earlier slide the diagram uh, the tumor uh, cell surface consist of the antigen okay so, so most of the tumor cells they do, do not possess that antigen that that cancer cells are also killed by the this bystander effect as also they do not uh, consist of antigen then the next should be the improved selectivity uh, the adpt should be improve the selectivity of anti cancer drug due to the antigen specific structure which is present on the tumor cell surface then this adpt is extremely potent anti cancer anti cancer agent can also be administered without fear of killing the normal cells and also the easy tumor penetration due to the small size of this system the drawbacks of the adpt is that uh, the one of the important drawback is the immunogenicity of the antibody enzyme conjugate which may be restrict the administration of repeated doses of this conjugate so as the immunogenicity is one of the important drawback so in many patients we have to administer the immunosuppressant drugs okay like the cyclosporine and the third drawback is the presence of blood antigen decreases the availability of the conjugate at the tumor site so the factors which are mainly important in the adpt so that is first factor is the enzyme which we use so enzyme must be able to catalyze a cisgen reaction of product okay so this product should be converted into the cytotoxic agent which further kill the tumor cells uh, the enzyme should have the high catalytic turnover means the single molecule of enzyme should catalyze the or convert the many molecules of product into the cytotoxic drug okay, so after the enzyme the second important factor is the antibodies okay so antibody conjugate must be localized on the tumor uh, age of their structural activity relationship which gives the idea the, with the high affinity okay so the antibody also should know uh, should have the minimum binding to the normal site okay so the antibody should mainly binds to the tumor cell okay rather than the normal cells the antibody also the covalent binding of enzyme must not be destroy the ability of the antibody to bind its associated antigen this antibody should not alter the enzyme activity okay as well as there should be a rapid clearance of conjugate from the body fluids then the third and the one of the important factor is a product so the product which is useful for the adpt 
must be less cytotoxic than their corresponding active drug as well as the prodrug must be suitable substrate for activating the enzyme under the physiological condition so here are the two factors which are mainly governs the uptake of compound into the tumor so the first factor is the extraction cohesion by the tumor and the se second factor should be the blood flow okay so the fraction of the prodrug extracted from the blood flow by the tumor which can be depends upon the chemical structure like the lipophilicity as well as the properties of the physiological barrier and in case of the prodrug there are the some important methods which are made useful for the development of the prodrug which is useful for the adpt so the first is the prodrug which is developed by the alkylating agent then the prodrug developed from the inin lines developed from the anti metabolites natural anti cancer prodrug anti mitotic compounds as well as the prodrug developed from the toxins okay so these are the different methods which are made useful for the development of prodrug for adpt okay, so that's it guys that's it for today so i hope you can get something regarding the adpt okay then see you soon in the next video bye bye